Hey Royals, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Josette. So today is the day to finally Microlocks installation day. I made it safely to Georgia, thank God. Okay, so I just washed my hair. I did just shampoo, nothing else to my hair. I used Aussie Moist oh shampoo. Gosh. I did that twice. And then I lightly blew out my hair. So let's get into the next clip. So if you didn't know, my mom is the one who's actually installing my micro locks and these are all of the tools she used. And this tool was sent to me by Nubian Lock Tool. Thank you so much. This chart was inspired by Queen Aleem. We only used it for the first row just to get an idea of the size we wanted for my locks. So the next step is parting. This took about 45 minutes. I was showing her um, the grids by Fanta Hair Studio. I follow her on Instagram. I love her work. She's the only one who stood out to me in terms of what I wanted my grid to look like. I didn't need for it to be complete perfection, but I just love how her grids look. So that was my inspiration. I was showing my mom and my mom pretty much mimicked that, but we did alter it a bit because of the shape of my head, my hair density. So here you're just gonna see her sectioning everything off. And at the end, I'm going to show you a 360 of how everything looks. If you like this video so far make sure to subscribe comment below and like and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when i post part two the next step is sizing so going into this i wasn't exactly sure which size of locks i wanted i just knew that i wanted anywhere between 400 to 500 locks but i was leaning more towards four, 500 because i really want that density and after having loose natural hair i love the density of my hair and i just wanted to be able to show that to its fullest potential but i definitely did not want up towards 600 i think that was too much for me so we used the chart to see how big they were and it was one quarter of an inch okay so the next step is interlocking so first my mom used her finger to manually interlock using the four point rotation and then when there's half an inch to an inch of hair left she just used the tool to interlock the rest of it So I will be taking measurements all throughout my hair. The back part of my hair is measuring two and a quarter inches. So if your hair is as short as mine, yes, you can get micro locks. Another thing to note is that it is a lot easier to do the interlocking method when you have short hair and i personally think that it is the best option say if i were to do two strand twists or even braiding it would there's a high risk of slippage and unraveling but with the interlocking method it's more secure now that's not to say that you can't install micro locks using the two strand twist method which is really popular that's just to say that for me personally I would rather do interlocking with this length of hair.
one thing I love about this process is that you really get to see your length. So of course with my hair type, it is mainly 4C with bits of 4B. So I do experience a lot of shrinkage and I know that I will experience that with my locks too. But when you get them initially installed, they're in their stretched state. So it was really cool to be able to see my growth since my last big chop in January. So this is eight months of growth. Another thing that I learned from people that I follow on Instagram is that shorter locks lock faster. So a lot of times people actually enjoy getting their locks installed shorter because it's easier to manage and you get to that locked stage a lot faster, which I didn't even know, but it, com it makes complete sense. If you have longer hair, more inches, the locking process will actually take longer. With shorter hair, there's less hair to actually lock. So I'm looking forward to that. This entire experience is definitely a first for me because my first set of locks were traditional locks. So the method my mom used to install those were finger coils. So I've never gotten my hair locked completely from scratch with the interlocking method. I did start to maintain my first set of locks with the interlocking method a couple of years in, but to have them completely fresh interlocking is just a whole new experience. And I'm really excited to see how the locking stages will be different this time around. Okay, so that is one section complete. That took an hour and 15 minutes to get that section done. So this is later on that day and my mom is working on the second section. For day one and day two of this install, we only did about two hours and 45 minutes a day, but we're definitely gonna be ramping that up so that we can get this hair done. So on day one, my mom did the first half of the second section and that took an hour and a half to complete. Okay, so this is day two. My mom is working on the second half of the second section. So in case you're wondering, I did ask my mom to count my locks. So we're counting each section as we go along and I'm recording the amount. So I will have a lock count and I will definitely let you know what that is once my hair is complete in a future video. If you have any guesses as of right now, at this point in the video how many locks i'm gonna end up with i would love for you to comment below to see who's the closest who can estimate how many locks i'm gonna have so this is what my hair looks like with three sections complete on my hair i love how it's looking so far the grid is really neat the locks themselves are just so cute so I trust me, I cannot wait to see the finished look. And then this was the fourth section of my hair. So the last half of the second section and the third section took a total of an hour and 25 minutes and section four took an hour and 10 minutes to complete.
my mom is now working on basically the second half of the fourth section and she started doing a new technique which really sped up the process for her so instead of her doing the entire lock all at once so basically doing the finger interlocking method and then right after doing the tool interlocking to fully retighten it she decided to just do the finger technique for the entire section and then go back and do the tool technique and retighten all of them all at once and she found that this was really helpful and it just sped up the process a little bit for her Okay, so it is day three, the last day of part one. And my mom is completing the second half of section four and she goes on to complete five, six, and seven. Okay, so end of day three, seven sections complete. We are a third of the way there. And this took a total of 10 hours and 15 minutes. So all of these sections, these seven sections, took 10 hours and 15 minutes to complete. So thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize for my voice. It is currently 1.30 in the morning <laughs> because I just want to get this video up. Thank you so much for all of the support on my YouTube and um, people messaging me on Instagram. I really just want to do a good job of documenting this journey thoroughly with lots of pictures, videos, so that not only I can look back at it, but other people find it really helpful and informative if they're in my shoes and they're looking to get micro locks. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Josette Bianca to get sneak peeks of my micro locks. I usually post videos or pictures on my story and they'll be in my highlights just because it is faster and easier to get up for you. So that is the end of part one. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to see part two. Stay tuned. It is coming soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.